somehow they always seem to be the team that we beat. Not a bad lineup. Yeah. I'm confident. To be no, fair, Tottenham in recent years have been Man City's kryptonite. <laughs> and that's why they're still a feeling that exactly. we can get something today. Hello everyone and welcome back to another Spurs related video. It's a vlog today against the current Premier League champions in Manchester City. Well, we know in the past Tottenham tends to have a bit of luck against Manchester City. Beating them last year at the Etihad 3-2. A Harry Kane last-minute winner. What a game that was. We know Tottenham were 2-0 up at half-time at the Etihad this season. Emerson Royale even getting on the score sheet. But look what happened there. Spurs lost 4-2 in the second half. So, no doubt today should be a good game. But it all depends on in my opinion, the atmosphere around the club. Is there going to be a buzz? We've made Pedro Porro our priority signing. He could be starting today. He's probably going to be coming into the fold. You've got Dan Juma likely to make an impact on the, off the bench. So we've made a few smart signings. If we're honest, I don't think it's enough. I think once again, our defence is going to let us down like it has multiple times this season. But we've got to hope. We're going to get up there. We've got to hope for three points because top four still on. We're still in the Champions League and we're in the FA Cup. So let's get up there. Let's hope for a good day and more importantly, a really good result. Come on. Well, guys, we're lucky enough or maybe not so lucky to have Joe Root on the channel. Joe, how are we doing? How are you feeling? Good. Uh, I feel fairly confident today. I mean, maybe it's false confidence, maybe it's false hope, uh, which is quite common with me and Tottenham. Um, I don't know. I think, obviously, we saw a few weeks ago, Man City, they can come from behind and beat us. Yeah. Having said that, we have got a good record in City. Um, you know, somehow they always seem to be the team that we beat. They are. To be no, fair, like, Tottenham in recent years have been Man City's kryptonite. And when, that's why they're still a feeling that exactly. we can get something today. We've, we've beat them when they're at their very best, when they're at their peak. Um, yeah. You know, and, and at the moment, they're arguably not their peak. They're dropping points, dropping out. Exactly. Not really not like, leading at the minute. Arsenal are still five points ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and what also, what I was going to ask you is, we've obviously met, spent a lot of money on Pedro Porro from Sporting Lisbon, mm -hmm. about 45 million euros, and brought in Dan Juma, yep. who had a stellar season the year before. Yep. How do you think they'll? Do you think they'll add a lot to this Tottenham squad, and can you see them impressing today? Uh, I think Porro is going to add a lot. I think having a right back that can play football will make a difference. Um, I'm not a big fan of Emerson, as I'm it's sort of a common opinion amongst Spurs fans. Can you see him coming straight into the starting lineup? Because some people have said I'm, Emerson's strong defensively and I'm, Conte doesn't want to play with two high attacking fullbacks. Yeah, I don't, what really, do you make? I don't really want to lean one way on that. Um, I think, with regards to that, I'd say I think Porro is definitely hit minutes today. I think that's for sure. Yeah. I don't know if he'll start. I don't want to call it either way. Um, but yeah, one thing for sure that he'd had a lot of um, experience and, and quality to the team in that position. Definitely. And then, with regards to Dan Juma, if you have a question, um, I think you, know, you can't go wrong bringing a player with that quality um, on loan. And I think the key thing for me is making sure that those balls into the box, if you watch them at Sporting, he's pacing behind, as well as quality and composure in front of goal, getting those whipped balls into yeah. the back, back post. And then you've got Son, even yeah. Kulusevski can drop to the other post, yeah. you've got Kane. I think he it'll can be, make a real be, impact. It'll be a revelation for players like Kane, actually having a ball, you know, have a Spurs fan as well to see a player from the right that can deliver. Exactly, and you've got both sides now. Perisic, we know he's a, exactly. a fantastic deliverer of the ball, and you've got Pedro Porro. So after all of that, I need a score prediction, Joe. What are we thinking? Do you know what? It's back the boys today. Two one Spurs. Two one Spurs. You've heard it. Thanks for that, Joe. Up the Spurs. Man. Come on, guys. We've made it. We're outside the stadium. <laughs> Ten minutes before kickoff, and I'm joined by a Channel superstar. Really, if I'm honest. Ted Newman. Ted Newman. I'm what here. a pleasure. How are we? Good. Good. Right, tell me, what do you make of the lineup? Pedro Porro is not starting, Dan Juma's on the bench. We've gone with the same uh, lineup as we had last week. What do you think? Not a bad lineup. Yeah? I'm confident. You're confident? 3 today. 1. 3 1 to I'll bet my house on that. Who's scoring? 3 1. He's scoring. Kane gets 2, Kuda gets 1. Oh, I'd love to hear it. Right, is Pedro Porro going to make his debut? And do you think he's going to live up to that price tag and hype the Tottenham fans have around him? He is. Double substitution, him and Richardson. Ooh, that'd be I'm nice calling it now. Yeah? I'm calling it Looking now. Looking forward to getting in there, Ted. 3 1. I can't fucking win. Oh, my word. We'll see Come you in there. Spurs. Come on, Up the Spurs. Spurs. Go! Go! Bottom left 
right-hand corner, never in doubt. The ball's won lovely by Emil Hoiberg. Pass on to Harry Kane. You never doubt him, never doubt him. Half time here at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, 1 0 Tottenham. Playing really well, actually, and very nice high press, and we're dealing with Man City's fantastic attack. A lack of cre creativity that shows with no Kevin De Bruyne as Alvarez is playing slightly deeper. But Tottenham playing well today. Arthur, what do you think? I think I'm going to go as well. 1 0 up, we should be. Do you see us getting the three points? What do you think? Yes or no? Yes. Yes, come on, Arthur, I love it. Right, so we're playing well. Can we keep it up? Time will tell. Other Spurs. Romero's just been sent off. Five minutes to play. A crucial five minutes. Can Spurs hold on and get the three points? Would be massive, but it's going to be hard without Romero. But we've been superb so far. Can Man City equalise? I hope not. here, 1-0 Tottenham against Manchester City, last year's Premier League champions. Tottenham have done it again. When you least expect it, they pull it out of the bag. What do you think of today's game? Well, we we need to get um, we think it's traveling. Right now, it's time to live 2-0 up. We lost 4-2. Um, um, our race is a bit quiet today. Um, but I think just the difference before we can start off really strong. What a win, we needed it to get our Exactly, today was defensively resolute, Harry Kane, he's Mr. Inevitable, becoming the Tottenham all-time top goal hey. scorer, unbelievable, exactly. and now we've got, exactly, probably once in a lifetime player we're going to see in Tottenham Hotspur, what a privilege to see him play live and get the three points for us today.